Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody, what is going on, it is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Battle Chronicle video, and today we are here to try out something brand new to the game, something that they just added in yesterday's update, an update we were looking forward to for a very long time, and something that might completely change up how we perceive Uncharted Battlefield, and that is of course the addition of the brand new AI behavior selector or the AI behavior setting now of course if you guys didn't know uh, that uh, this was added yesterday you can now change the priority of the AI so the AI can now choose between four priorities attack recovery strong enemy and solo attack priority so you can exactly tell the AI what it should be doing in any sort of event now this is going to be quite a big change especially for Uncharted Battlefield considering that game mode is literally auto only and of course what that means is that you can now prioritize the ai to focus on for example with the strong enemy at least based on what they've said here if you want to target the boss of the stage effectively you can tell the ai to do that now so this is going to make things a lot smoother when it comes to uncharted battlefield at least hopefully and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today we're going to be checking out and seeing if this actually works in practice and seeing if the ai has adjusted in any way shape or form we're going to be testing out some different places so first and foremost we'll obviously try out a normal stage right here i'm thinking of going into the killer ant stage purely because you have the main boss the killer ant it's Itself, and then the mini ants as well in and around it right so i think that'll be a great way for us to check out if it actually prioritizes the boss or somebody else we can go through all four priorities and see how it works right we'll probably take only two units into the field so that we can try and judge it so we'll take one healer one support unit and probably horihime in this situation and then on the other side we might take potentially I don't know, we'll see who we'll take. Probably a uh, type disadvantage unit, so uh, a green unit like we are here. I think that'll be the best case scenario for us to do. Uh, just so that we can test out and see how it works. You know, see if it actually works in, uh, you know, testing and it works in practical experience and see what the priority setting does exactly. So I'm going to remove Bell from the team for now so that we are dumping down the total power. And what I might do as well, because of the newly introduced, uh, you know, high levels, right? I might have to remove some of the uh, scene cards so that we go under the recommend power just to get an idea on how exactly the player, you know, how exactly does the AI behave in that sort of situation. So, of course, if you guys want to enjoy this video and this testing that we're doing, remember to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more content, and let me know your thoughts on the AI. We're going to be testing out all the areas. So, like I said, regular mode, first and foremost, we'll probably go into potentially score attack to get an idea how it works there as well right because score attack is a very much similar ish vibe to of course you know um the likes of a boss fight effectively uh, or in uncharted battlefield right you have your boss and then you have your minions spawning in here and there so that'll be a good place for us to test that we might go into mss as well to just get an idea on how the auto does there as well right because you know how it is we love autoing in MSS as well. So we'll try out see these different places and see how the AI operates. So now, first and foremost, we're going to just leave it on default setting. We'll set up to attack priority. Um, what I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to remove some of the scene cards just so that we can kind of uh, ease up a little bit. What I might also do is just go a little bit weaker with... Um, uh, go a little bit weaker with uh eyes uh and uh, or view sorry and go for a weaker assist just to kind of you know have a little bit of a lower cp count there we go that should be perfect uh i'll put the scene card back i'll just put a random scene card back in that won't go above yeah perfect Thirty thousand exactly on the dot i think this will be perfect so we'll see how it goes we'll we set it on auto uh auto attack priority i want to just see how it works i want to just see how it works and on auto for both of these characters what do they necessarily do on auto and how do they behave on auto or auto attack specifically um this will also give us an idea on has it changed quite differently compared to uh you know the previous um you know previous uh patch we had right right before this update happened is there any difference there so of course hestia just launches immediately and we already see obviously the introduction of uh um you know the uh, ai using the skills and stuff you can see that uh uh, Harime is attacking already, of course, makes sense. They're not switching out into our uh, Ryu. So I'm going to uh, take over here for, for a split second just to see what happens. So on attack priority, 
it does seem like the AI is prioritizing the huge ant here. Did it use a... It used a battle item. That is new. That is actually new. Okay, so we died. That's fine. This is again type disadvantage, so I'm not expecting much there. Um, but that is different. That is very, very different. I've never seen the AI use a battle item before in any event. Like, this is one of the big, one of the minor complaints I had was that the AI would just never use a battle item, even though we've given it the option, right? But it, it definitely used the battle item there. So that is something to take note of. And it looked like it used it only at a certain HP threshold as well. So that might be a, a, a bit interesting as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it and I'm going to just put eyes in so that we have like a power curve here so that we can at least beat the stage. Um, it does seem like the type disadvantage and going under the recommended power was just a, a no dice, an eh -eh, bad idea entirely. So let's go in again. Let's keep it on attack priority. But that was the first thing I noticed is that the AI is now using the battle item, which I think is very interesting and i think actually it's gonna be pretty darn good in all honesty i think that's actually pretty darn good um i'm very happy that it is using the a uh i'm, I'm very happy that it is using that um it makes it a lot more promising of course right but uh yeah okay so in this case it seems like it's still targeting the uh um it seems like it's still targeting the uh, nearest enemy it seems from what I could tell, it's still targeting the nearest enemy. I think we're going to have to take a type advantage unit, to be honest. I, I was kind of expecting because we were running, you know, a level 80 unit with Ryu and stuff, it would have been fine. But it is Ryu, to be honest, still at the end of the day. So let's try and take a type advantage unit rather than going in like this again and again. So I'm going to probably use um, Tiona instead. Let's use Tiona as a baseline instead. Just to get an idea on uh, what we're dealing with here, basically. So, let's go here. Uh, let's switch out. Uh, or we'll go for a neutral character, maybe. I think the neutral character could also be decent-ish. Um, do we have a good neutral character that I could go for? Maybe Eyes. Christmas Eyes might be a good idea. Um, oh, well, I have to replace uh, this first and foremost. So, let's put in Finn. And we'll put in uh, Christmas Eyes. I think Christmas Eyes is going to be better because it just goes, goes for neutral. I don't want to go too strong in and I don't want to go too weak in because otherwise it just isn't allowing us to get an idea and get an, a, gra a grasp on exactly what this attack priority does. But for me so far, it seems like attack priority is basically the same as it normally is. Um, it just goes for the nearest enemy is what I'm gathering from this basically. It is going for the nearest enemy, which is absolutely fine. I think that is actually a good thing in a way as well, to be fair, um, in that it's going for the nearest enemy. Um, I mean, it gives you that option of having that setting, of course, right? Especially if you want to have a unit that is uh, doing that, you know, maybe um, let's say there is mobs around. You want a, a, a set of units to target the mobs while one and one unit targets, you know, the boss. I think that's a, a fair idea nonetheless. Um, okay. So, this seems very straightforward. Obviously, unfortunately, the AI doesn't move around and it just targets the enemy. So, it struggled a little bit there. But, uh, let's try out the recovery portion now. I want to see if it can beat the boss without struggling that much. That's the thing. I want to see if it can beat the boss without struggling that much. And I, I've given it, I feel like, decent-ish, um settings i mean the only thing i could probably do to make it a little bit better and just to make it a little bit smoother for this unit is uh go for this maybe um and help out with that in that sense i suppose but let's try recovery now let's try recovery pattern priority for both units i want to see what the ai does in that sense now when you put it on heal in don mimo right heal was an option in don mimo as well where you could heal up the unit and stuff right set it to that so it would always heal the unit it would kind of bug out a little bit and be a bit weird with the units, right? The attacking units particularly. So I'm quite curious to see how uh, eyes will operate here. If it just defaults to uh, a an attack priority setting and stuff like that. That'll be quite interesting to see. Um, so Asfi just launches there. There we go. Uh, let's switch back into eyes. I want to just switch into eyes. So yeah, it's going for the mobs. It seems like. Okay, it's going for nearest enemy. It's going for nearest enemy. Using skill immediately, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, it's going for mobs here, which is, I mean, not too shocking, to be honest. I'm not too surprised that it is using that. Obviously, we're going to see some mobs spawn in as well in a second as well. Um, but yeah, it this definitely seems like it's about the same as we'd all normally expect from a unit like eyes, to be honest. In terms of uh, AI behaviors, it's nothing too crazy. 
N nothing too fancy here. The uh, the mob spawned in again, so I'm not too surprised there. Okay. All right. All right. So yeah, that that, that gave gave us a good idea. It doesn't change much. So recovery, I think, comes down to more so for healing units. I feel like I think if you were to put it on maybe like a Haruhime, we'd see her using her healing capabilities a little bit more. More so, maybe use the healing items a little bit more potentially. I guess the battle items that is. So that is also not a huge difference. It seems like it doesn't seem like there's a huge difference there. Now this is going to be the big one, in my opinion. This is what we've been actually waiting for, to be honest, right? This is what we've been waiting for: the boss priority. This should mean that eyes immediately goes for the boss. There's no two ways about it. The eyes has to target the boss. If she doesn't, that means they failed on this one. So let's see. This is going to be the big one, in my opinion. This is going to be the big one. So the boss is there. Yeah, she got closer. Immediately, I could tell that she got closer. She went for the boss immediately. Like, even if there are enemies close to her, she's going for the boss primarily. And the thing is, interestingly, she didn't even allow Haruhime to use her ult. That is very fascinating. So, so no, there is a big difference there. There is a big difference there. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to also do this as well. L let's go back to a blue unit. Let's go to a blue unit and actually try this properly for the first time now. Because I wanted to see how a neutral unit would do just because I wanted to see the... Uh, I didn't want the... Uh, uh, I didn't want to kill immediately, right? That was the biggest problem. I was like, I was a bit scared that, you know, we'd just kill immediately. So now what I'm going to do is just to kind of you know, satisfy my curiosity and just to assure that I am, you know, in the right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Chigusa in so, so that we have a DPS there. Uh, let's put on the Goliath Robe Blue. And I'm going to put it back to uh, attack setting quickly. We'll ignore recovery priority for this uh, test, but I'm going to go into attack priority right now. And I'm going to see what happens here. So one of the first things I noticed that in the strong enemy boss is that eyes progress a little bit forward compared to uh, the usual amount. And then used her assist skill. Second of all, she didn't switch into Harhime one bit. She didn't touch the. Uh, uh, she didn't want to switch into Harhime whatsoever. So attack priority again. Attack priority went back there, but she she's already uh, went there. She switched into uh, Harhime as well. Let's go, go into you and yeah, she's targeting um, the the other mobs. It seems like, and she's using her battle item a lot here. So the battle item is being used a little bit here, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. And yeah, she's targeting the other enemies here. So you can see what I mean that the uh, uh, even with the AI, it's still a little bit wonky in that sense. You know, they're, they're still not, <laughs> I guess, incompetent is a fair way of putting it, to be fair. Uh, but it is, you know, they, they, their behaviors are a little bit weird still, even with, uh, you know, having multiple mobs in attack priority so this is very much like the ai of old is what i would say more so to be honest i feel like this is the ai of old for sure it feels like it feels more like the ai of old at least but we're killing here we're killing here but my query is i and i feel this is uh going to be the case yeah we're gonna be be, be the enemy here okay beautiful i feel like we could have had a much faster run in the other uh in the other setting Strong enemy would have immediately targeted the ant always, in my opinion. And that, I think, will be the big difference maker. And I feel like we're going to see more combos out of the unit. Because you saw she, she was just stabbing sometimes. She wasn't attacking appropriately. She wasn't just going for it. I think that's going to be quite interesting. I know I'm going to have to spend some stamina here, but that's fine. 30, 100 Selas is okay. Um, I'm going to have to make sure to, you know, disable. <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure to leave the uh, fight when, I, uh, when I'm about to clear it. So that I don't waste another 100 Selas going into this fight. Worst case scenario, we can go into hard difficulty as well. Um, but I want to use the very hard stage to just show as an example, you know, what's exactly happening here. All right. So Tiona goes back in. Let's see uh, what she does here now. So this is going to be very fascinating to me. So let's see. Does she get... How close does she get? Yeah, she went straight in. She went straight in. She was she was like, nah, the boss is mine. That's who I want to go for. I don't care about anybody else. I, I really don't care about anybody else. Now, this can be a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, oh, the AI, she's a bit stuck there. Oh, no, she got disabled there. Okay, she got stun locked. My bad, my bad. But yeah, that's the problem. I feel like that is going to be a little bit of a concern there. Um... I fear that, uh, ooh, okay, 
I actually kind of like that what they did there. I wish that the AI could change immediately, like uh, not uh, stay in with Haruhime and uh, change immediately. Because, yeah, Haruhime is down. And then do that. There we go. All right. And now we're going to use your alt. Oh, yeah, no, we're done here. All right, there we go. It was better, but it also was at the same time a little bit iffy at the same time. It looked like it was a little bit more of a struggle for Tiona in a way, to be fair. All right, use this. Break. Nice. Okay. I think it was faster. I think the run was faster, but it also felt a little bit weird at the same time, if you get what I mean, you know? It was a little bit odd in that um, the AI kind of got stuck there a little bit. I think that was due to the enemy just stun locking them. You could see the effect around Tiona a little bit there. Um, but the other thing was that because she was so single focused on the boss, she was so single mindedly focused on the boss indirectly, it affected her negatively in terms of beating the other mobs. And as a result, she was getting blocked by the other mobs. So in that sense, you could argue that that could be a bad thing as well, right? But I think that that's fine in all honesty, especially in Uncharted Battlefield when you have like three at attackers at the same time, right, on the field. I think it becomes less of a worry in a sense, you know. I think it becomes less of a worry because, of course, in Uncharted Battlefield, you have three units attacking at the same time. Whereas in this mode, in the regular quest mode, you only have one unit on the field at all times. So having that boss strong enemy priority i think is a way better option than not having it now solo enemy priority which is the one we're on right now we've gone into hard difficulty it seems like this will be in my opinion i think this will be just about the same as a normal more uh a normal uh thingy so we're stuck here I i'm quite curious now all right there we go so we're prioritizing the minions i suppose here okay this will be very interesting. Alright, one second. Let me use uh, this. One second, one second. I need a... Uh... Alright, one second. I'm going to take over here for a split second. I'm going to just take over here for a split second. I want the mobs to spawn in. I want the, I want the minions to spawn in. Come on, ants. Come on. Come on, we need the ants to spawn in. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand next to him. And see what happens. Okay, she... It, it, okay. That, that's what happens. So, initially, I thought that the um, solo enemy thing would probably focus on, uh, you know, pr would probably focus on the minions and the m mini mobs rather than the boss. I thought that was the idea of solo enemy priority as well, right? But it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems like it's going to be something else entirely. I wonder if it means that it'll target, like, an enemy that's separate from others more so. Because that is that would be a very interesting one as well. Targeting that potentially it would be very interesting. So I'm going to let it do it again just so that we can see maybe if we can get an idea on exactly how it works. And uh, once, we do, we, once we do that, we'll go into uh, score attack really quickly. And I'm going to put it on strong enemy uh, priority just so that I can see what happens there basically. Um, but I genuinely think that the best priority for people to be on is probably going to be strong enemy priority. Um, I think... I think a good idea actually in Uncharted Battlefield this is, it's probably to go for a b balance of the two. I think your main DPS should be set on strong enemy priority in my opinion. But I think your um, uh, sub DPSs and stuff like that, your rec secondary DPSs and all, I think they should probably be set on... Um, I think the, their best setting would probably be something like attack priority or solo enemy priority probably. So that you are able to, you know, kind of balance the two together. Of course, you're going to clear out the waves of mobs, but you're also going to have a unit targeting the boss, right? That's the one thing you want, right? You want to target the boss because you want the ults to go on to the boss, right? So I think having a balance of the two is probably the best way to go here. It is probably the best way to go here. I love the strong enemy priority. That is probably what that, that shows the improvement in the AI. I think there's still a couple of things that they can do. I think the battle item usage could be um, refined and Im improved upon. I'm glad that they're finally using it. I think it's a W that they're finally using it. 
but there needs to be a little bit more of an improvement. I think there still needs to be a little bit of an improvement there to make it actually, like, you know, really pop off, in my opinion. Um, Alright, so let's set it up to be strong enemy priority here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chuck in a, a, fourth, a third unit as well. Uh, we'll probably chuck in what, Bell, the blue Bell. Just to have a, a, a third unit on the team, of course, right? Uh, and to see what had happened in this situation, right? So I'm just going to give him, like, random uh, scene cards, to be quite honest. Uh, the scene cards that we don't really uh, need to worry too much about. So just chuck that one on. Um, just chuck that one on. And we'll chuck this one on. Uh, where is it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's chuck... No, that's uh, electric power. <laughs> not that one, not that one. We'll chuck this one on. All right. Auto setting, uh, we'll put it on strong enemy priority as well on Bell, so that we can see what happens there. Because I want to see if she actually targets the orc here in auto uh, uh, in in this event. The other place that would be quite interesting to see is how it would fare in event ranking. Funnily enough, I know some people like to auto their event rankings because they don't really care too much, especially if it's a solo one. Um, but it'll be quite fascinating to see how exactly the AI performs in that sort of scenario as well. So, of course, here you can see that it's very basic, but the problem is the AI is literally using its battle items immediately. So, you can see what I mean by, I think that still needs a little bit more refining, you know what I mean? Um, so, there's the boss. The boss is obviously the closest, so this isn't a really good representation, sadly, um, of what the uh, AI will do, to be fair. Um, because, yeah, I mean, like, we, we, we've just cleared it, like, just like that. So it doesn't make any uh, sense for us to uh, take that as an example. We need to see what would happen if we are away from the boss and the boss spawns in. So hopefully the boss will spawn in sooner rather than later. Um, It looked like the, the enemy was... It looked like because... I wonder... Oh, you know what it is? I think when it says strong enemy, right? It has to probably have the HP bar at the top. Because it didn't look like it was targeting the... Uh, it didn't look like it was targeting the uh, boss. Again, I want to I wanna let it run a little bit. Let, let's let it let, let's let it cook and simmer a little bit. I just need us to spawn next to... I, I need the uh, boss to spawn away. And then us to spawn... Uh, us to start attacking this side. Okay, please. Yeah, no, no. 100%. 100% no we were still targeting the orc we should have been di uh, we should have immediately switched over the ai should have switched over based on our testing from previous rounds it should have immediately switched over so my guess is the game doesn't judge this to be a strong enemy technically the uh event ranking boss and that is fascinating because that means if you if, if you are looking at a boss it has to be the one with the hp bar at the top which in a way, makes sense, but of course, you you know that that is a elite enemy, right? It is a it is a boss that is uh, obviously priority. This will be actually a good judge point because we should be uh, getting the enemy orc spawning now. Okay, I mean this is again not not helping us. Yeah, I, I generally think that the uh, mob is attack uh, the the sorry the AI is attacking the minions even before the mob boss uh, it attacks the boss there. That is very interesting. Again, some people will have to do a little bit more testing. Maybe we can actually... Let's try normal event ranking. The current event ranking that's live right now. I think that'll be another good place for us to check it out and see how the AI is operating. So, not test of strength. Wrong area. Ranking quest. There we go. Uh, and let me just pull out my, my the team that I normally run. Uh, put it on strong enemy as well. There we go. Attack priority strong enemy. Set off. Let him cook. <laughs> I'm gonna let him cook. I got a score of seven thousand uh, of eleven thousand uh, nine hundred. Let them cook. Let me see what they do. Let me see what the AI does. I want to see does the AI do a better job than yours truly? Imagine, bro. If uh, it'll be very funny if it does. It'll be very funny if it does. All right. So immediately it's going there. That was a little bit odd. Okay. So wait. Well, no eyes was nearby. So that's why I targeted eyes. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I eyes is nearby, so it's targeting eyes. But let's see. It's targeting eyes? No. Maybe I was wrong, and it does target I, uh, the uh, elite enemy nonetheless. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so it is targeting the boss still. It was a little bit weird in score attack then. I don't know why it was acting so weird in score attack where it was still going for the orc. And, like, you can see what I mean. Like, it immediately switches over. Even though it's in the middle of attacking the other enemies, 
it's still targeted eyes instead. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's immediately redirecting towards eyes nonetheless, which I think is the right way of it doing it. Um, yeah, 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 look, it's just diverging immediately. It's like, it knows it's got to go for eyes instead. So, okay, okay, so that makes much more sense now. It, it still targets it, so it's not based on the HP bar or anything. It is literally that. Also, I don't know why um, Tione is not using her ult there. That's so weird. The fact that it's a little bit odd that Tione is not using her ult. I wonder if that's a little bit of an issue there, maybe, with the AI. M must be. some. It has to be uh, something weird. I don't know why it's not using her ultimate at all. Her ult should have been popped, like, 50 years ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? It should have been used uh, 50 years ago. So I don't know why it's not. But, yeah. Like I said, I think the, that, that is good. So, case in point... It does a good job there. Now, I'm not going to actually see what score I end up getting. It'll probably be somewhere in the 4,000s, 5,000s, probably not too much. Um, what I want to check, and the final thing we're going to do here, is we're going to go into MSS. We're going to go into MSS, and I want to test out two settings. And I'm going to use the Tarl for this. I'm going to just use the Tarl for this. I'm not going to use anything else. So let me go and switch into my solo Tarl team. Uh, and I'm going to set it first and foremost to attack priority. So attack priority is the way we'll go first and foremost. Um, I'm hoping I get a... Uh, match quickly here um, both times because we're going to be doing this twice over and uh, you know how MSS is it takes us 50 years to actually uh, get something there basically right um, but yeah uh, let's see here uh, hopefully we get something good uh, let, let's see let's see let's see uh, oh well it's it's still loading it's it's still loading <laughs> Uh, may, may, maybe no, M maybe not, M maybe MSS might not be ha uh, ha happen there. Alright, we've finally got into a match, trust me when I say this, it did take about 3 minutes for me to find a match, that's classic MSS for you, but this will be a good way to get an idea on exactly how the AI behaves in MSS. Now, so far we've kind of gotten an idea that, well, to be fair, right, the attack priority is about the same as the previous AI, right? The attack priority seems to be the same setting as the previous AI. There's not much of a difference there. What we're looking for is that if there's any nuanced changes, you know, small changes that might be, you know, prominent, might be noticeable. Maybe, you know, it starts collecting the, you know, magic stones a little bit more and so on and so forth, right? But this is just me setting a baseline, right? This is just for us to get an idea on exactly what we're dealing with, uh, with, of course, a normal attack priority AI. However, what I am more curious about is the strong enemy priority. I have a feeling the strong enemy priority will target the players more so than the mobs. So in this situation, right, if I press auto, we, we still target the mobs, right? We still target the mobs here, as you can see. It's uh, fairly noticeable, right? You can see that the mobs are still priority here for us, right? It does seem to be the case here, but we do target the uh, players as well, right? It makes sense that this is going to be something that we will see be balanced. But of course, mobs isn't the only priority here. So I am quite curious to see what it'll do in strong enemy priority. I think, again, like I said, because of uh, I wonder how, I, I wonder if the AI judges it based on HP. That might be quite interesting, because that's the other thing I was thinking of, is I, I, I was just thinking about it, and I was like, how does it judge it? Like, how does the AI judge the strong enemy? Is it, like, based on HP? Is it based on something else entirely? What is it? What, 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 what are the parameters? What are the parameters that we're dealing with here? Because if it is just um, a case in which we're, you know, looking at it from a perspective of, like, HP, then it's kind of like a bit of a weird way to judge it, to be fair, in a way, because you're going to then prioritize only the defensive enemies, right? The tanks of the uh, stage. The AI is going to be fairly confused in MSS, is my guess. But, but, if it is based on maybe it being a mob, like, it has priorities, like other players and then you have your uh so other players is at the bottom then your mobs then your elite mobs and then so on and so forth right i wonder if that might be something that they uh look into potentially now i know we're gonna obviously come like third or fourth year fifth maybe potentially we are in a lobby with jp players this is probably not gonna go too well uh but we're here we're here to just look at the ai more so that's my priority here i don't really care about winning this um I've never really cared about winning MSS, to be honest, anyways. So it, it doesn't really matter to me too much, to be honest. But uh, what I want to see is just how does the AI perform here? 
Let, let's take a look at this. Oh, stop going into the fire, man. <laughs> at least at least do me a favor and stop going into the fire, bro. <laughs> Literally, out of everything it does, it just goes into the fire again and again. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Ah, we, we died here. I was hoping we'd, we'd stay with the Minotaur to maybe just see the get the win and stuff. But alas, no. Alright, there we go. We are almost done with the fight, basically, because somebody's already at 100 points. Beautiful. Alright, I just I want to get this done and over with so that now we can check out the other priority. That's going to be interesting to me. I'm going to come, like, fourth or fifth, man, I swear. <laughs> Even though I've, like, survived the most here with Otaro, it's just because we... Obviously, the uh, AI doesn't prioritize going for the magic zones. That would be a nice, actually, addition as well. Again, I know that they don't want to make uh, MSS a auto game mode necessarily, right? Because, again, they've put their heart and soul into this game mode. But that would be a priority that I'd actually like seeing, potentially, is uh, going in that direction, to be quite honest. I would love to see it. I would absolutely love to see it. But, yeah. Uh, let's see now. Let us see. Let us see. Uh, and try and see how the uh, this goes. How does this go? So set up, auto setting, strong enemy. Okay, let's go. Begin matchmaking. I'm gonna let it cook now. I'm gonna uh, let it cook. All right, we are into our next fight and the final look at what the AI is going to do. So strong enemy priority, of course, as we said. Let's take a look at how this goes. Again, I'm more interested in seeing this. This is going to be very interesting to me. So, so far, it looks like... Okay, it looks like we're going to be targeting the mobs in itself. So, this isn't any different from what we've already seen. It feels like, at least. I I'm not able to tell any difference here, necessarily. It does seem like it is more or less the same. I, I don't think that this is anything too crazy. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like we're targeting the same enemies. That there's no like prioritizing of high HP or anything. So I'm I'm pretty sure they might have like parameters set up for like, obviously if a boss is an elite boss, you know, thicker HP bar or like top bar or something like that, right? It makes a little bit more sense there. But yeah, I I think that this is gonna be uh, this is a perfect example of like the AI not really, you know, the uh, settings not changing here basically. Um. I don't think it changes massively here. So, yeah, makes sense. All right, let's go. Launch. Come on. Uh, hit him, hit him, hit him. You've got an ult. Yeah, no, there's something wrong with the AI. For some reason, the strong enemy AI... I wonder if it's trying to save an ult for a strong enemy. Oh, because the Minotaur is coming later on. Maybe that's what it is. It'll prioritize the Minotaur. Can we get to the Minotaur? I was like wondering why is it not using the, the ult at all. But it makes sense now. Because it's saving the ult for that strong enemy. That is... I like that actually. And that is a good thing in a way. Um, it can be a bad thing. It can be a good thing. Depending on your perspective really. Honestly on that front. In terms of that situation. I just wish we had the Minotaur come in man. Frick. I'm not going to be able to see the Minotaur on the field. To be able to test it out I don't think sadly. I need Wolf to die. If Wolf dies, we can uh, see the Minotaur, maybe. He, he, surely he's on fire, man. No, we didn't see the Minotaur. But I'm pretty sure there it is. There it is. I, I think that's fantastic. Okay. Either way, that is a good example. So, yeah. The AI definitely seems improved with a strong enemy. I generally am interested to see how it works in Uncharted Battlefield. Because that's the area we need to see it on. And we will be obviously addressing that when the time comes. But yes, um, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the AI settings and everything. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. I think the strong enemy is definitely a better setting, to be honest. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.